Got another guy. A Velen. Qualified, certified, but fully booked. So hands are tied. Pawn Spectre Evelyn is name. Survey new lands is game. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Ah, oh, friends! Have impeccable timing. Evelyn in dire need of helping. It might be Evelyn. Evelyn? Yeah. Evelyn, rather than Evelyn. It could be Evelyn. Because yeah. if you think of it in terms of Japanese, Evelyn. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Sound oh, that's Shulk. Sounds like you've got a problem. Mr. Shulk is curious, Cabbage, too. They may also very intrigued. Survey set for day was finished, so Evelyn may sit down on sitting spot over yonder for well-deserved snack break. Just was removing tasty morsel from knapsack when all of a sudden, whoosh, splash, meal thing plopped straight into lake. All gone, in single eye wink, like tears standing under waterfall. Wobble, sardy, and lake scoffed down every last piece of hard deserved footage. But no ugly fishy fish incur wrath of Evelyn and live to swim about it. Sardi will rue the day it made an enemy of Evelyn. Friends speak to Evelyn because felt urged to help Nopon in distress, right? Then please, to avenge poor Evelyn. So go kill Wobble. Go kill a fish. Fish? Kill fish. Kill okay, fish. Gosh, they're hideous. Uh-huh. It was all... Oh, gosh. Oh, the eyes are on their side. Yeah, I thought it just had, like, a shit ton of eyes, but no. There was just two eyes and then a, a horn? A spout? I don't know what's in the front of their head. Um, gun. But yeah, for a second I thought they just had, like, a billion frontal eyes. No. They're just gross. Mm-hmm. All pitted and pockmarked. Yeah, so all of these guys that we are recruiting mm -hmm. straight up like hang out with us. Oh, so in we have combat. Three? Yeah. So we just have like a small army of nope on. <laughs> uh, nope. Those other Sardi don't have ex oh wait, no, they do have exclamation points. Yep. Okay. Just have to kiss them off. There we so go. So are we supposed to kill all of them? To exact no, just revenge? three. Oh, that didn't work. Have you ever had a fish nibble on you? Uh, yeah. Really? Uh. Not exactly often, but like, I mean, I had my own fish nibble on me. You had fish? Yeah, I had, I had goldfish. But you never told me you had goldfish. I did. Yeah, I used we to even like talked to about it. I also stick talked my finger about, in the top of the tank. I also talked about how I, my favorite fish was the, um, the bottom feeder. Oh, yes, algae eaters. <laughs> Oh, day of joy. Evelyn was agog, watching friends bish-bashing smelly fish brutes. In fact, Evelyn feel a whole lot better now. Although, no, is no use. Tum Tum feels so empty. No energy even for Shimmy. But if friends able to bring Evelyn Morrowcob from wherever abouts, may be able to kickstart metabolism. Oh, you have, you have all three cobs. Oh. Oh, and then popped on the ground. Ah! Maro cubs! Oh. Oh. Mm. So mm, tasty. Can feel life flowing back into limbses. Ah, <laughs> I can't even say what she was trying to say there, but whatever. <sighs> Evelyn wolfed whole thing down. Now is about time Evelyn make haste to find one one. Come to think, 
life all about helping each other. No, dread to think what happened if Evelyn collapsed on road alone. Clearly, friends have obligation to ensure Evelyn come to no harm. So, take with and deliver persons safe to woman. I must say, made good survey progress today. Like in days of old chief, who established prospectors. Retired now. When one one step in to take mantle, practically only ever to do charity work for Frontier Village. No prospecting at all. Evelyn nearly forget. Was even Pond Spectre in first place? Oh, it's settled. Friends all ready to set off? Then it's time to deliver results of survey to Chief 1-1. One -One. Unless it's Woon Woon. Yeah. Meh? Friends want to know about other Pond Spectres. Not to spoil all fun, but Evelyn have one small idea. Try here. They really do not mince words. I've noticed. Like, mm -hmm. every dialogue is lengthy in this. Mm hmm. At least the, the no pawn are well written. Yep. And following me around like a bunch of ducks. Mm hmm. I kind of wish they had disappeared. You'll have the no pawn squad. No, we must embrace them all. Oh. Wow. Alright, this is a bit bigger than I was expecting it would be. I was like, yeah, let's just get into the next plot point. And then it's just like, there's a lot. Oh, what was that talk point? We have to go all the way up and around to get to it. Uh, okay. That's not super... That's not super Ooh, viable. that looks like a ruin up ahead. Mm-hmm. We'll get this one over here. Mm hmm Let's see. Yeah, it might be accessible. This one should be. There we go. An overlook of some sort. Oh, afternoon. Why? Why even have these limits? Maybe they need to be daytime. Yeah, but like, just have the cutscene do that. Huh. So high up! It really is, isn't it? When stands on tippy edge, I'd go dizzy wall! Don't Kino, fall! don't get too close to the edge. If you lose your footing, you could fall. Here is much safer! view won't come to think about. Clouds look like floaty fluff below feet. You're right. I don't think I've ever been this high up before either. No, no, no. A moment. If clouds are in direction down, this continent floating even higher up than clouds. Exactly. It's floating much higher up than Frontier Village in Magna Forest. Or even Aerith Sea. Strange, so strange. But why this island is floating higher than even clouds? I think I remember something from an old book. As I recall, the Bionis shoulder was once inhabited by the giants, a highly advanced race. There used to be many islands floating above Erisi, you know. Kinono, no? teeny tiny islands floating in sky. Very fantastic view. The giants. They could process and utilize Hoverstone, a mineral with floating properties. <laughs> Amazing! In Earth Sea, they gather so much Hoverstone, it left up whole continents. Actually, you might have it backwards. Maybe they took Hoverstone from here and transported it back to Earth Sea. Oh, elementary! Kino 220% agree. Of course, it's best to take all this with a grain of salt. Until now, no Homs, or even Hyentia, have set foot on this continent. That's why the book's author might only be speculating about some aspects. No, no, it makes sense. Can be no mistake in theory of Shulk. Shulk really do know everything, just like Dad at Oh no, 
I'm positive there are things I don't know. Dad, upon say, friend Shulk is brainy smart, know everything. And also brave and cool, and could do anything if he put mind to it. Did... did he really? I'm actually a little embarrassed now. Nothing to be embarrassed about! It's only good thing. He also say Shulk is number one sidekick of Dedipon! Next in line of awesome! <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> good old Ricky. After we save the kids and all these no pawn, we better have a nice cutscene where we go back down and Riki's like, there's my children. And then they get to have a nice moment where they can tell their dad that Shalk and Melia were their sidekicks for a day. Or several days. We need to have that cutscene. Yep. What are you laughing about? Oh, uh, just thinking about like all of the potential options. I'm curious how how concerned Riki is. I think the real answer is not in the slightest. <laughs> I really? think he's gonna like, oh cool, this is what happened. I was wondering. It's not uncommon for no pawn to just disappear and come back days later. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, judging by the side quest, it's not uncommon for anybody and everybody to have that issue. Mm -hmm. Not just no pawn. We come back and there's two more siblings. <laughs> I mean, like I said, In their absence, Riki just kind of assumed they were dead. <laughs> Named new Nopon children after them. What? No, I didn't mean that. Adopted a new Kino. Kino Mark II. <laughs> it's just a mech on. Uh. Oh, hey. Mene goes like, Mommy and Daddy Pon? Stop adding more pawn! Brother, sister pawn. I just... I can barely comprehend having a kid. Let alone, like, 12. Uh-huh. I... Yeah, I can't imagine. Changing these crystals so they give you the upgrade upgrade gems now is such a huge change. Because mm -hmm. now I actually am, like, compelled to interact with them. Mm -hmm. That, you know, previously was just like, oh, good, crystal. I, that, I haven't, that's okay. So what do you think the purpose of this DLC is? Just feel good? Epilogue, or do you think they're actually with the name Future Connected? It almost feels like they're using Wait. this as kind of like a prologue for another game. Yeah, we'll have to see. Because maybe they do intend to make a Xenoblade Chronicles one, two, <laughs> one, two, <laughs> or something. Or maybe they, maybe they just want to connect it to one of the future titles. Yeah. I can see that. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Because Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is kind of like a side quill thing. Mm -hmm. Or this might be what's... Wait a minute. In that other game, were they living on floating islands? In or... Xenoblade Chronicles 2, they were on a bunch of giants kind of like... Bionis and Mechanis, but they were animals. Okay, so they were on giant whale creatures. There were a couple that were walking around. There, there were walking. Yeah, there, wow. there were a couple that were that big. Okay. Like so. the first one you're on is a giant deer thing, but for the most part, it was like whales and turtles and dragons and stuff. Because it'd be interesting if there was a game in which it was sky islands mm. and such. 
navigating around those. You know, sky pirates and such. I kind of had that in two. Like, Weren't they also delving for stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, that Rex was a diver, specifically looking for... But where, what would they dive into? The Cloud Sea. So was it just a bunch of gas, or what were they diving into? It was a bunch of clouds. I don't think it was actually underwater, but for some reason... You had to wear equipment like it was underwater? Yeah, yeah. for some reason he had like a full-on diving helmet, which made no sense, because it only... You only ever put it on, like, twice in the Maybe entire the game. Maybe the stuff is dense and you can't breathe it in. I don't know. No, because, like, at a later date in the game, they actually just go down there and wander around unprotected. Then why do you need a diving suit? I don't honestly know. Slobbering antholes are attacking the pond specter. Sup? Excuse me, we're going to interrupt your, your meal. Doesn't look like much of a meal to me. Well, that's because they have an issue again. I just have a bunch of battle no bond. What the <laughs> heck? I just by the end of this, am I just gonna have a small army with me? Maybe. Qualified, certified. Uncontestified. Conspector Deca Deca Deca. Deca Deca. Is it Deca Deca? Deca Deca. Deca. His name. Survey New Lands' game. Deca Deca really thought it was curious. Cut. Wait. It was curtains for a moment there. A friend snatched up life of Deca Deca from jaws of death. When Deca Deca finished surveying area, lit monster repellent incense they got from friend. But then monsters appear. It make no sense. Why in heck monsters not repel? Why attract? Meh. When Deka Deka take whiff, realize it is actually monster attracting incense. Friend must have put in by mistake. Or this could be a trial that fate posed for Deka Deka to challenge resolve. Fate called Deka Deka to defeat monsters by own self. Meh. Yeah, but Deka Deka do nothing. And just call for help from passers-by. Disappoint themselves. Well, in any case, thank friends for well-timed rescue. Deka Deka is, like, vibrating intensely and it's uh -huh. kind of uncomfortable. <laughs> Deka Deka not forget this kindness. Oh, that was easy. By the by, did friends see Chief 1-1 one -one somewhere, maybe? They could think I have to get hands on survey results. Meh. One one rise in ranks very quick. Was once a rookie of team, but now chief already. Very unexpected. Must be recognition for excellent skill in pawn specting. Dicka Dicka must follow shining example. Is key tenet of pawn specter organization, but good effort always be recognized and rewarded. Sounds like the guy absolutely. He may be. Maybe he killed the competition. Oh, that'd be a problem. Also, thank you, si 64 Syntax Error, for the sub. Because why are all and these welcome. guys dispersed and in danger? And how did this guy because mysteriously rise? Because the guy is probably ranks? terrible. Mm hmm. Ooh, look at that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Grotesque Demis. I don't know if that pile of crystal is worth fighting a giant spider. I we actually want to fight as many of those bosses as possible, because uh -huh. uh, that's how we get free gear. Because there's yeah. like zero money drops, so I'm either gonna have to go on a selling spree for everything, or I'm gonna have to kill the giant spider. Yep, there's more antles. Speaking of spiders. Yeah. We've, we've been, been had having some wild luck with spiders lately. Giant spiders. Okay, first it was a bunch of tiny little uh, jumping spiders, which we would normally get by our windows. But then they were showing up on the ceiling quite often. And then the other night, I screeched when I saw this giant, it was a giant ebon spider, and it was on the, the floor. 
And I, I managed to squish it. It was one of those ones that had the creepiest walk cycle. Why am I even saying walk cycle? It had the creepiest gate, and it was trying to go underneath our stove, but I smushed it just in time. But then the other night we went down to the kitchen, and there was another giant spider, even larger than the last, and it was right above our, our pantry. But it crawled over the top of the lip of the pantry border and hid in some kind of crevice that we didn't know about. Yeah. And then we may have seen the exact same spider, if not a larger uh, spider, if not a larger specimen on the ceiling, right at the top of the stairway, and you sucked it up. But quite frankly, I don't think sucking it up in the vacuum is good enough. I'm. Well, next time you can grab a shoe and kill it. Mm-hmm. But on the ceiling, that's difficult. No, we we do not like spiders. I don't mind Fidibusot X's though, so long as they don't try touching you. There was a stupid one in our window so a while back. And he would try to hunt down the ox elder bugs that were in there, but never succeeded. It was kind of sad. Oh right, I don't have the uh I don't have a full set of pawn specters yet. Mm -hmm. So you don't have any special moves yet? Yeah, I, I can't I can't do any of the cool things. Are you glad that humans are primates? Uh as opposed to As opposed to any of the other uh, like humanoid animal families. Imagine if we were, say, reptiles. I think reptiles would be a problem. Or avians. Or... Well, the problem with being a reptile is you would have a three-chambered heart and heat regulation would be very difficult. I don't really know if... It's interesting, though, because if you think about it, much of our capabilities relies on rip and just our sheer brain size. Unfortunately, reptiles and birds don't really ha they're they're not equipped with that at all. Insect insects even less so. Yeah. Hmm. It really does seem like mammals are the most capable. Yep. It is interesting how humans evolved to be fairly hairless. Mm. Ooh, ooh, I touched the mic, sorry. I think... I don't know. Why do you think humans became so hairless? Because we didn't need, need hair. But was it in response to us being able to clothe ourselves? Or was it a response to... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It'd be something interesting to look into. I mean, straight up, I think a lot of it is... Uh, aesthetically, humans think body hair is somewhat unattractive. But also, yeah, we just straight up don't need hair anymore like originally ha hair was a means of keeping ourselves warm but now like you've got a blanket on mm -hmm. I'm sure your hair helps oh oh our leg hair does not help in the slightest I was talking about your head hair but yeah gosh <laughs> get that gross business away from me <laughs> what my now hairy legs <laughs> Shell has decided, seeing as no other human being needs to see her, no other, uh, she does not need to shave. <laughs> Breaks our deal. Huh? Wait, you mean you want me to shave my legs so that you shave your face? Is yeah, because you frequently are like, shave your face, and I'm like, fine. <laughs> when you have these gross horror legs, and you're like, I'm free at last, and I'm like, thanks. Okay, okay, so I... 
pretty much since I was in middle school, everyone was peer pressured into shaving, especially girls with dark hair like me. Well, so it doesn't help that your legs are just like way hairier than any other part of your body. But that's the thing. As soon as you start shaving hair, it comes back thicker and coarser. So it begins an endless cycle of... Yeah. What? But like, you're... I mean, my arm hair is finer, but it's still visible. Yeah. But it's just like, it goes from dense, dense horror mess <laughs> to like almost nothing on your thighs. And it's like, ha. Ah. <laughs> you have fluff. Except your fluff is a lot finer than my yep. fluff. Hmm. I, I really think it's the product of shaving, though. How fluffy or coarse hair is. But also, you're fairly Scandinavian. Yeah. Whereas I am fairly Greek Italian. So, different backgrounds there. <laughs> I wonder how perturbed everyone in the audience is. Us talking about leg hair. <laughs> I, know, I just got to thinking about spiders. And as we killed one. Huh? As we killed one. Yeah, as we killed one. And I was thinking about what if humans were born... Well, what if, what if arachnids became the predominant humanoid species? I don't think this species would last. No, they probably wouldn't. But it's one of those things where... Too antisocial. What, what we perceive as ugly versus attractive. Do you know what I'm getting at? Mm-hmm. It's interesting how humans can anthropomorphize or make attractive-looking alien characters. We were talking about... Uh, we're, we were talking about that the other day, about how, like, I'm not a big fan of spiders, and somebody was like... Check out this really pervy anime. I hated spiders too, and then there was this sexy spider chick, and now I love spiders, and I'm like... Uh, uh. <laughs> I am a massive weeb, but other weebs terrify me. I mean, I suppose my earliest exposure exposure to spider chicks would probably be what Black Arachnia from Beast Wars. Mm -hmm. But they were once again like they were just humanoid robots that could transform into animals and had aspects of those animals incorporated into the robotic forms. I almost wonder if I could just not have what's her face in the party and just use exclusively Shulk <laughs> as the tank. He's supposed to be this like, you know, backstabber status effects guy that like attacks enemies from the sides or the back, but he does so much damage and generates so much aggro that no one can even hope to compete with him. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking back to all the OC characters I've made. And I've definitely made my share of like multi-eyed reptilian warrior guys. Yeah. And cyborgs. And just flat out robots. But they weren't like strictly weird sex objects. No, of course not. They were characters in their own right. Whereas for me, like, I've played or played. I've read I even two... have a really nerdy insect guy that's one of the main characters of the story that I'm writing. You've you seen him before. write more of it. I know I need to write more of it. His crusading is banned. 
<laughs> you laugh. No, I know. I'm serious. You know how in the credits of Xenoblade, uh, in Xenoblade Chronicles, or like of the main game, we were like, hey, mm -hmm. we'd never been to the shoulder before. Why are they showing us like scenes from the shoulder? Uh, mm -hmm. But that was like absolutely old footage, I think. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this was like an area that they had designed or at least started to design and they were like, yeah, this doesn't really fit anywhere. So Which we'll is just why they had later. something to work with. And so, yeah, I, I'm assuming that they were just like, yeah, let's just use the cut portion of the game as like uh, an epilogue instead. Oh, okay. Something between Melia and Shulk. Yep. I just. I uh, feel so bad for Melia, though. Yeah. Ah, Shulk. Did something catch your eye? Wow. What a view. It's nice to see the capsule like this. Being able to see it from here. It's enough to make me tense up. In all honesty, it's making me consider my position and standing. I see. My brethren, who transformed into Telethia back then, and those who survived, feeling the sadness that seeped into this land. And then, my father and brother's expectations, calling me the hope of the High Entia. I must be an empress worthy of taking on that mantle. But I don't know how. Much as I hate to admit it, I have not been able to find the right answer yet. Melia. Shulk, you of all people must surely understand. You who secured a future for all of us in that decisive battle. You know, I've been thinking a lot lately. About what my visions were. Oh? The future that Zanza wanted. That was certainly one of the things I saw. But we fought to deny that future. And in doing so, forged our own path. That's part of it, too. Hmm. But now that I can no longer see them, I find myself doubting. Were we... Were we really actually determining our own fate all along? Well, it's a good question. But look, you have saved me more times than I can count. That did not come about because of your visions. You used your own judgment, and you chose to act, did you not? And thanks to that, I believe I've grown as an individual as well. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think I said anything funny. I'm sorry. You're right. I want my actions to have meaning too. Not to craft Zanza's future, nor defy him and bend the world to a future of our design, but to give the freedom to choose. To all beings that call this world home. Freedom to choose, huh? What would my father and brother wish for? I wonder. I don't think you need mystic visions to work that out. Hmm? They just want you to be happy, right? My gloom is no match for you, Shulk. It's just as you say. To become the hope of the High End here is a fate I choose for myself. Those were the words Father imparted to me. There is no need to fear. That is how my brother encouraged me. I've been so impatient and homesick. I nearly forgot those most important words. I can hear Father. Lecturing me even now, chiding me for my foolishness. I give you my thanks, Shulk. It's nothing. To lack clear-cut answers is hardly a sin. But a sin it would be to cease searching for those answers altogether. For the high end here who live on in this land. Nay, 
not only the High Entia, for the sake of all the people of this world, that they may decide the future as equals. That is the vision. I choose to guide me. That is the future I wish for. Yeah, if anyone could make it happen, it's you. But I won't lie to you. The road ahead will be long and arduous. I hope you won't mind me lending a hand. After all, that's the future I want too. Shulk. Indeed, it'll be my pleasure. He's barely taller than her, and his hand is massive compared to hers. Oh. Yeah. Like, our hands are pro proportionally sized. She just had teeny little fingies. <laughs> Maybe just for that cutscene, but it was odd. I think, what is it? Men are supposed to be about 15% larger than women? Isn't it 18? There's some, like, oh, almost... 15. Maybe. We'd have to do the math to see if it works out for us, because Wander and I are the most average of averages We are actually just boring people. I think my feet are larger than average, though. I have size 9 ladies? Feet. I can wear men's 8s. Oh! Wait, what's going on? This is that tower. We've been here before. Yes, this is the tower that you fell on multiple times. And it times. had the weird device on it that I was like, oh, maybe this will be important later. And I guess it was. For the DLC. Mm-hmm. Huh. Rah! There's that asshole. Sup, dude? Somnivore Lexos. Does that mean he I had a people's... quest to kill, like, a shit ton of these and... Does, does he only eat things that are sleeping, or does he eat people's dreams? What probably do you think? A, probably a dream eater. I, I think he only eats sleeping people. Man. Be difficult. Well. That was quick. Why would all those Telethia be gathering here in one place? Transporter, over here! Huh? What is it? The transporter is running. So it is. But how? Maybe somebody activated it. In any case, we can't afford to dally here. Agreed. Let's go. Let's see. Does this take place before the ending or after? There's a six-month month time skip. This is a year after. Yep. This is after the six-month time yep. skip. So one thing we could do if we wanted to get distracted for a little while is actually just go gather a bunch of nope on. Eh, we'll leave that for later. I mean, does, will this progress with the plot too, too much? Or will we be okay with... I'm sure it'll be fine. We don't have access to the uh, refugee town. So there's got to be... There's got to be more than this. Main entrance. Of there's Alpha. also a po There's apparently a note button in here. Oh, there is. Ooh, look at that gold... Uh, that... Wait. Yeah, what is that at the front? Spooky. Entrance. Everything's overgrown. I love this aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Overgrown future tech is such a rare aesthetic in games. Also, the cracked hexagonal portions of the ceiling. It's good to be back. Home of Miss Melly needs some reading. 
housekeeping been slacking off. <sighs> Very true. We'll have our work cut out for us. What is it? Look up there. Whoa. New dimensional rift. What is that thing? Look like hole in sky. That's simply impossible. This world is still in its early days. That could explain the instability. That, or it's still being reborn. Does that really explain this? It could do. That Fog King creature. Is it from... It's a possibility. In that case, it may well be lurking nearby. Let's stay together and keep a close lookout. King of Fog, not scary to Kino. Kino, how about turn around and tell to face? Bye bye bye! Gotcha! Little joke there. No, no, big meanie! Hmm. Mama? A child's voice. Where? Up there! 